It might become the biggest protest event in US history. This Saturday, tens of thousands of people or more are supposed to take to the streets of Washington, D.C. to join the Women's March, an anti-Trump protest event supporting solidarity for minorities. Some celebrities say they'll participate as well, like Scarlett Johansson and Katy Perry. It's the first time filmmaker Rebecca Rodriguez has wanted to join a march because she thinks Trump is unfit to be president. I see an individual who, with his words, has encouraged hate and violence against the marginalized communities in our society. For the participants, there's a multitude of motivations. Gay rights, gun control, immigrant rights, equal pay, abortion rights, racial justice or climate change. While the event's also open to men, it's been organized predominantly by women. The people who are going to be the biggest thorn in this administration side are going to be the women of this nation. The motive for this Women's March, which went viral on social media, is Trump's past controversial comments about women. They came under scrutiny during his election campaign in 2016, notably this from 2005. I've got to use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful... I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. The march in Washington will not be the only one. Hundreds of simultaneous protests are expected across all U.S. states. And support marches are planned in more than 30 other countries, from Colombia to Myanmar, Iraq to Saudi Arabia. According to media reports, more than 10,000 people alone will attend the march in London, probably one of the biggest outside the United States. Among the worldwide protesters are all kinds of activists, but the most popular one is California's Pussy Hat Project, hand-knitting pink hats that thousands of participants in D.C. are expected to wear. <laughs> Every time I think, okay, that's enough, I've made enough, I'm going to stop, something happens, I read something in the news, I'm like, give me that yarn, I'm making more. I don't want anyone who wants a hat to go without one. These women refuse to be left behind. To get ahead, get a hat.